Minimally invasive surgical instruments are usually disposed of in a dry state in the operating theatre and transferred in closed containers to the central sterile supplies department. There they're taken apart, placed in the mobile injector unit and connected to the water circuit. If HF instruments are heavily contaminated, they should be immersed in 3% H2O2 or subjected to ultrasonic cleaning prior to processing. The instrument basket for separable instrument shafts and the basket for small objects are best positioned next to the container. The basket with optical instruments can be placed straight into the bottom of the mobile unit. As far as possible, all instruments should be dismantled and connected to lure lock adapters or placed in the irrigation sheaths to ensure thorough irrigation of cavities. Rings are unscrewed. The removable valve is positioned such that the valve is open and the inner chamber is accessed by the water jets from the nozzles. The trocar sleeve is connected using a hose and placed over a jet. Larger cavities are best accessed through the use of nozzles with side perforations. Valve systems are disassembled into their individual components. Trocar sleeves are arranged on nozzles with the appropriate height. The same applies to stylets. In the case of reduction sleeves, the caps are removed before they're placed in the sheaths. Both sleeves and their silicon caps are adjusted so that water is forced through the sleeve, ensuring adequate exterior cleaning. Various cannulae also require dismantling. The external section is secured over a thin nozzle using a spring clip. The inner channel is connected using a lure lock adapter. When arranging short instruments, it's important to adjust the height to ensure that the cross cavity aligns with the nozzle to facilitate interior cleaning. The connections for elongated items and shafts are arranged in two sloping racks, allowing a diagonal arrangement within the cabinet. Clip forceps and swab forceps can be inserted into an irrigation sheath without a silicon end cap. Swab forceps require the use of a spring clip applied to the handle to ensure that the jaws remain open and accessible during cleaning. Here too, connection is made using a lure lock adapter. Handle pieces, if at all possible, should be removed from the instruments and placed in the instrument basket. Inserts are removed from the sleeves and placed in the holder in the basket with their jaws open. The sleeves are placed in a suitable irrigation sheath. Narrow passages in instrument handles are best cleaned by placing the handles over nozzles. The sleeve and shaft insert must always be separated. The sleeve is positioned in the appropriate irrigation sheath. The jaws of the instrument must be accessible from all sides and must be positioned in the holder in such a way as to remain open during cleaning. The mobile injector unit offers enough connection options, be it nozzles, irrigation sheaths or lure lock hose connectors, to ensure that all the instruments used during an operation are properly accommodated and connected. This means that a complete set of operating utensils remains together throughout the cleaning and disinfection process. The high degree of flexibility afforded by interchangeable and removable irrigation sheaths, nozzles, hose 
and lure lock connectors allows widely differing instruments to be both cleaned and disinfected in one and the same batch. Thorough exterior cleaning can only be guaranteed if all surfaces are accessible to the water jets. This is of particular importance with respect to working inserts. Satisfactory cleaning can only be achieved if the jaws and blades of forceps and scissors are open, exposing the contact surfaces to the water. Cables forming part of an operation set can simply be placed in the wire basket for small items. This in turn is closed and placed on the lower level of the mobile unit together with the basket containing the working inserts. Fibre optic cables and gas and irrigation tubing are best accommodated in the spiral rack around the central column. The upper ends are secured in the clamping devices provided to ensure that they are not jolted about by the force of the water in the cabinet. Cable and tubing are wound parallel to each other down the rack. The lower end of the tube is attached to a lure lock connector and the end of the cable is clamped tight. Finally, unused irrigation channel connectors are secured to prevent damage. Providing that the mobile unit has been loaded properly, one can rest assured that all the instruments will be cleaned thoroughly both inside and out. In fact, this is the only way to guarantee standardization of treatment at a consistently high level. Manual processing is by no means able to provide this degree of standardization. Despite the constraints of standardization, the system is versatile enough to cope with individual requirements. Connectors, hoses, irrigation sheaths and nozzles are interchangeable and can be replaced as required. If instruments placed in angled irrigation sheaths become top-heavy, they can be supported by an integrated rest. A variety of nozzles with different diameters, lengths and forms are available for different applications. Height adjustment slides allow instruments to be fitted in any position. An extension adapter should be used for particularly long trocar sleeves. Together with the jet, this then ensures that water accesses the entire length of the inner cavity. Irrigation sheaths can be selected to match the cross-sectional dimensions and length of the instruments. A round mesh insert accommodates rings, screws and other small items. It's simply clipped onto the rack where space is available. For hygienic processing of instruments with a 3mm diameter, Working insert should be positioned in the holder in the E907 insert in such a way as to remain open during cleaning. Connection using a lure lock adapter then ensures thorough irrigation of cavities. In the E450 mobile injector unit, instruments should be placed in a slanting position on the appropriate racks. These are only a few of the solutions to meet individual requirements.